Should we clap? <laughs> yeah, we should clap. White people when the plane lands. <laughs> All right, who's counting? Three, two, one. I don't like when Dew's assertive. I don't like when he's the the power. The do your power bottom today. Okay, so the usual. <laughs> no, you're usually not a power bottom. <laughs> My God-given role. <laughs> what are you sipping over there, bud? You can literally look at my that, face cam. I can't. Oh, Canadian Coca-Cola bottle. Oh, I, I learned, I learned that, that is that is a fast food place in Canada. That's not yeah. just a root beer. It is, it is a here fast too. Yeah, no, we. Place. That's really? a fast food place. Yeah, it's usually paired yeah. with a Long John Silver for some reason. <laughs> Ew. Why? What do they, what do they serve you at A&W root beer it's just fast uh, food? Burgers. Yeah, you can they literally like, go get like some fish sticks and then like a burger from the same place. So they have oh, their the whole yeah. shtick is like they have like the family burgers. So they have like sister burger, mama burger, daddy burger, the brother burger. So you bring in your family burger. and they grind them up into a burg. <laughs> it's just incest. No, they got them all. Time. I don't. I I've never. I actually don't think I've ever eaten A and W, but I, it's just something you see everywhere here. Pop a burger with some grandpa's that, ashes. What the hell does that shit stand for? Who is A and W? Um, Ass. autistic and wet. Asshole and wiener. So me, twenty four seven. Yeah, dude's, dude's autobiography title. <laughs> type, type shit I've been on lately. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I shit in the bed. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. I'm a bed shitter. I'm welcome, so brother. I'm welcome, the brother. Insane, Holy what an insane shit! Thing. Out of that. Tell okay. me about this. The, the second I thought of wet, I was like, oh yeah, I was wet the other day. Um, oh man, you just joined an elite group of. Well, so, from dude. Your own so dude, it was actually that night, and I sent you the picture of the Taco Bell. I was telling you about the oh, the cheesy Taco streets Bell. made yeah. you shit yourself. Yeah, so there was foreshadowing. Yes. Oh my they, god! They brought back the the mini street chalupas, and I sent dude a picture. I was like, look. And yeah, yeah. you bastard! I don't think we have them here again. But no. Uh, yeah, I ate those, and then about eight hours later, I was in bed, you, lifted my bed. leg up to. I was fully one hundred percent confident it was just going to be a fart. And it was just never, water. never be 100. It never was just be water. <laughs> yeah, I had to get Can't up. trust oh. nobody, not even my own farts. Not even my own <laughs> asshole, yeah. Oh, God. Dude. Yeah. Wait, so I, I I mean, did it get on the bed? No. It, 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 it oh, you, you're hard. a bitch, dude. Ooh, bitch yeah. fart. I kind of wish it did. Try harder. Open. Did it, like, did it, like, saturate your pants, or was it just, like, a little squirt? Did it, like, it was fill a hefty up down squirt. the legs? It didn't really go but down it, the legs, because, like... The like way a, I was laying, like I had to, shot. I had to like sit up on my bed first and then like, get off the bed. Would it have filled a shot glass? Yeah, yeah, like just oh. a single. <laughs> it was quite Ew. a bit, and there were some chunks. <laughs> oh. Dude, nice. just like a full corn. Happy to hear God. it. Sophie <laughs> <laughs> just looks so disgusted. <laughs> you're like not even smiling. You're just like, oh fuck. Happy to hear it. It's such like, a I crazy stayed up late for this shit. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, just uh well yeah we're doing the, we're doing the podcast later than normal so you. we're on freaky time yeah this is freaky time happy to have you so i, I feel like he doesn't fully get to use the title of bed pooper yeah you're like i mean i pooped you're in like bed. halfway in you pooped nah, while in bed but the, i pooped it's gotta the get bed. on the bed dude yeah, poop guy poop i gotta see i got to see poop poop guys oh nest, my his god dwelling. yeah he, he has mustard on his mattress Mattress. I, I hope that it's mustard. Ooh. It's cut. Yeah, how do you know that's mustard? mustard? No, I don't know. I didn't. Knowing he, Manny, it is cut. He's ass bed, blood right? and piss. Dude. Yeah, yeah. He's a, so he's a bed eater, and he doesn't have sheets because he goes, "Well, you go wash them anyway." So he doesn't have any like <laughs> covering on his mattress. Flawless it's just raw logic. dog. <laughs> raw dog to mattress, followed by a comforter that is older than any of us in the call. Checkmate, call. liberal. Oh my god. Did it you anyway. uh, did you also look above his bed and see the photo of just two random guys on his ceiling? Uh, I I was sort of overstimulated when I walked into the building, <laughs> so maybe I probably missed that. There was a a lot to take in. I love that yeah. in his nest, his dwelling, there's just like mm -hmm. a beast mode gaming setup, and yep. then and then just yeah, a fucko like, mattress. It just and looks then like just like the most Katrina. impoverished thing you've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That it, that place is insane. Do you see his shower? His Auschwitz shower. I did. I saw his. Uh, what does that even mean? Dude, is it just like so flat his, and you walk his, in? No, his but, shower straight up looks like like Auschwitz. It's bad. It does. It's like it's, it's like rusty. moldy. It's like moldy, rusted tiles with like straight oh raw piping just showing. Yeah, well, like I bet copper that piping oh. just going up the side. Which you know, it's, I it's kind of like it's easy to fix if if, if anything yeah. fucked up. <laughs> right there, well, the pipe is right there. You got a leak. Like, all right, dude, this guy's a genius. Yeah. 
No sheets, huh? don't need them. Gonna have to clean them anyway. Pipes exposed. Oh, he is game. like he, he's the definition of a single man that is just <laughs> yeah. And then his, his floor life. is just New Jersey. Or sorry, his ceiling is his New Jersey Devils giant logo. <laughs> like yeah. this, like the size of a room. He's, he's just got New a Jersey cave. Devils on a ceiling. He's got Describe a the scent sure. of this place for me. Uh, um, not as bad as you'd think. I Actually, said the okay. same quite thing. Nice. I said because the same he, thing. He, he makes food in there. He'll make like a stir fry or something. So. He usually doesn't. It, if you looked at it, you'd be like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, that's gonna smell." But then you actually go in it, and you're like, "We." That that was one of the hmm. things I said to him. I was like, "Surprisingly, it does not smell as bad." No, as there's it looks not an odor. Here. I said that. No, there's not an odor. Yeah, because it, <laughs> wow. it looks like. Dude, it I feel looks like it's like kind of rude to say, but I had to <laughs> it say. It looks like, like it, it looks like the place looks like, like it smells like shit in there. Dude. <laughs> like it, it's bad. Wow. I felt yeah. I felt like I was rude after saying that, but I just couldn't help myself. I was like, you know, surprisingly, it doesn't smell like shit in See, here. See, the thing about Manny is, like, he says those same things to himself. Like, he'll probably wake up and go, weird, no smell today. Something awesome worse. about something awesome <laughs> about his day. shower. He he had a beer, a beer can yeah. in his shower, and I was like, hell yeah, dude, for. having having a little brewski while you're showering. He was like, oh no, that's for my toenails it's like that's my toenail catcher i'm like okay, that's, his well, that oh, okay. <laughs> that's his toenail beer why do i feel like everything i'm learning about this guy is reminding me of asmund gold does he have a blood teeth wall no too? dude he's not no he's not even close to a about spider it. like manny is like manny's messy but not enough where like i don't want to sit on his furniture like the ketchup and mustard is fucking hilarious but you know what it is it looks like ketchup and mustard yeah. he at least sent me a photo of it um nothing's like this like his tables his it's not like couch. squished cockroaches it in the is, doorway. Yeah, it's all clean. It's fine. His kitchen, relatively speaking, quite clean. It's just areas that you look at and you're like, I'd probably tidy it if it was my house, but I'm glad you feel comfortable. <laughs> Poop guy is a fucking legend, dude. He is oh, like... Yeah. Yeah, he can get away with whatever the fuck dude, he wants. Canadians are no different. If he killed a guy, I'd be like, well, that's just Poop guy. No. Well, that's Canadians poop guy no doing different. poop guy things. Yep. What do you mean Canadians are no, are different. no different? Wait, wait, no wait, wait. You go up there one time, boy, you already converted. No what are you different. saying? Dude, Hold poop on. guy. He can I say what he drives? <laughs> what oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You could. Yeah, no, it's fine. He, he, he loves drives he a on his Instagram. Toyota Tacoma uh-huh. truck. Yep. Uh huh. And he, we ride around with the windows down, blaring Nickelback. I'm like, yep. And he's got little yes. titty anime stickers all over that. That's like when you thing. came here and I took you to a redneck <laughs> bar and you were like, I think we're at home. Country is country wide, baby. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I feel like he's a he's an imposter though. I think he, he gotta be from down poop here. Guy? Dude, yeah. poop guy is not he's not from this planet. <laughs> no, he's not. No. <laughs> he's not a real species, bro. It rained for three seconds while we were leaving McDonald's and he took his clothes off to walk home because he, he just didn't like the wet. Lark always just called him a specimen. Every time he yeah, came into the specimen. room, he's just like you're just a specimen. <laughs> Dude, it's just He's a little After creature, and I can't do anything without that man. If I know Manny's involved in something, I know that I cannot have a normal day. Like I'll just—it'll <laughs> be three thirty awesome, in though. the morning. We've been drinking, we've been eating. I'm ready for bed. I know that. 10 minutes after my head hits a pillow, my door will slowly slide open. He will be butt ass naked and he will stand over my bed and just hover and just stare at me. And he just sits there and then he'll lay down, take up the whole sheets, say, I'm not moving. And I have to boot him off the side of the bed. <laughs> it's just, I know that these things happen. That's so crazy. Or like, if he's coming to my house, I know he likes to rummage. So he'll open my door, no knocking. He'll just come in and he just starts opening everything, everything he can find in every room, every room in the house. He will just start opening shit. He just rummages. He's just like mm. looking. It gives looking. me like <laughs> a like a uh, cub, like a bear, like a small bear vibe. Yeah, like just or like, like yeah. interested not in everything. Not a small bear. Not a small. No, just a regular. Like, like, I like said the full, same thing. I slept like a full in the bear same with like a mental age of six. I slept in the same <laughs> room as him. It was me and Yummy sleeping on the couch. Dude, he's and, snoring. And and Manny had an air mattress on the floor. And that motherfucker <laughs> that was, thing was pulling fighting. the paint off the fucking walls. He was, dude, I've never heard someone <laughs> snore like that in my life. What a description. I got up. I got up to pee at like five thirty, and I thought he was joking. I thought he heard me wake up. And I thought he was pretending to snore that loud, dude. It it's I, not a it's not a meme. That's real. It's it literally was vibrating the door. I'm not fucking oh kidding. Oh my shit, dude. And he the problem was he was I like looked out because so the way it was set up is like my 
my bedroom would be here. Then there's a bathroom, like a shared bathroom. And then there's a living room. Manny was right here. And then soup and yummy were way over there. And like, there's a door between the bathrooms and I could literally feel that thing vibrating. And I went and peeked to check because I thought he was doing it as a joke. And his arm was literally like this on his nose. So his nose was completely covered. So he was literally like mouth guarding. He was like, <gasps> like it was so, dude, <laughs> it was so loud. It was like, insane. sometimes I can snore, which is why I think me and yummy got put in the room with him. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I snore. So I don't want to like disturb anyone. It's like, all right, you're sleeping in the same room. In the as, snore as, room. As <laughs> poop guy. Dude, that he needs he needs a chamber. But it was kind of comforting though, because it was like sleeping next to a massive fucking bear. Uh, I thought yeah. I thought it was a joke too at some points, because at some points it didn't even sound like no, it a sound snore. Real. It was yeah. like he would be like no. oh. yeah. and then he would <laughs> like just fucking yeah. fart at like a diabolical <laughs> level. That's my It'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the loudest does. fucking fart you've ever heard. Oh my god! I need to spend a day with this so, guy. Jesus. I want to so watch him yeah. sleep. I want to stand so over he, him. And it was watch even him. better when he used to sleep. And so the old apartment we used to stay at up in Toronto, uh, he used to go in Smitty's room because Smitty had a really big closet there. And Manny would make a nest. He'd grab all the cushions from the couches, all the pillows from the guest rooms, everything he could find. And he would make a, a nest inside of Smitty's, Smitty's closet. And it was like all the cushions and shit would move. So he'd be on hardwood. And he would fart bare ass on hardwood. And dude, it literally sounded like a round of applause. Like it was just, <laughs> it was absurd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you oh, got man. to see the back love- farts in person as well. Oh, yeah. you did? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Did, did, you, oh, yeah. did you learn the technique? He's trying think to teach I could, us. I don't think I can I, pull I it off. I think the tech, yeah. I think yeah. he, uh, you need years of training. You have to have a back cup. Yeah, he's got yeah. that suction back. Yeah, he do. <laughs> yep. Damn. And, uh, I think nobody, he could stick to a wall me. if he wanted to. <laughs> I think so. I think if we pressed him up against it, nobody believed me how quickly he got undressed when we get home. And I'm glad everybody got to see it firsthand. Yeah. Because nobody, down. like, dude, I will literally be taking my shoe off. I will be on shoe number one. I will look up, tarps off already, pants are halfway down. He's on the floor. He's just having a good time. Just and at one point days. in the middle of the night, or no, it was like early morning, but everyone was still kind of sleeping. And me and Yummy had woke up, and Manny <laughs> just walks towards us in his like fucking boxers with <laughs> and a blanket. He laid on you, didn't he? No, he didn't lay on me. He just kind of looked at us and then just <laughs> laid on the bare floor with a blanket. And then just like it was like a light switch, just started snoring, like passed out. I get why you say specimen now. Like that is very specimen. Yeah, he is a specimen. He's like Patrick Star. He could fucking (laughs) sleep up against a rock, dude. It's insane. Uh, Yeah. So he he can literally fall asleep. If you tell him to fall asleep, he will go to sleep. It takes him maybe thirty thirty seconds to a minute. So the drive from my house to Smitty's house is uh, fucking maybe a minute and a half. Yeah. Uh, And I tested him. Manny, go to bed. Dude, bef- I think before we were out of Smitty's driveway, he was passed out snoring in the car. Clark is not just, happy. It's, <laughs> Clark was like, get up, so, Manny. <laughs> He's so literally bad. asleep. <laughs> well, it's it becomes a... It, the only time I hate it is when he does that little thing where, like I said, 10 minutes after I fall asleep, he comes and just fucking lays on my bed trying to piss me off. And, like, he will actually fall asleep there. So trying to get a sleep person to wake up and go walk somewhere else when they're like cold and tired you just don't want to do it bro you'll just and able actually to just... suction to anything immovable yeah. object yeah Blark, so he fucking... gets stuck in his back <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was, he's uh he is absolutely a specimen but the toronto we was fun him. manny's always a highlight oh we yeah didn't, i feel like we didn't even do that much in toronto we just kind of ate and drank a lot yeah i don't Pretty think there was much. anything like Notable. It was actually quite the a crackhead. We saw a crackhead break dancing. I've yeah, never, dude. dude I, I've dude, never he seen was somebody the break dancing. Craziest that hard. fucking crackhead I've ever seen in Toronto. So like normally they're like fent leaning or something. Like if you see somebody who's like really fucked up, or like stand like that sleeping. Just, like, that like yeah, zombie thing. Yeah, over. dude. Yeah. He was like his like you know when you try to crack your back and you like lean your upper body this way and your legs the other way. Yeah. Like. He was doing that, but he wasn't trying to crack his back. He like he was actually trying to corkscrew himself, and he was like yelling and like shaking and like, Aah! well, was like, dude, it was it was bad. It was like maybe five minutes into pulling into Toronto too, and I'm like, this is not 
This a is great not welcome fully normal. To the, to the city. Yeah, this is, this is not. It's, it's like there's always a crackhead to greet you. That happened to me when I was in Vegas when I first got off the plane. There was a woman rolling dice in the street and then punching parking lot mulch at a gas station like the second I got there. Like they're always like, there to greet you. I feel like because the mulch I, took her money. I feel like airports are kind of typically more in like the like we didn't fly there we town. drove that's the thing too we literally drove oh. and this was like oh. in the center of downtown so like for anyone that knows toronto it was like right by nathan phillips square which is usually a pretty like clean area it's usually not too uh not too hectic there but uh yeah he was getting jiggy people were just like stepping over him and i was like i feel like that's a point where like Somebody should maybe call an ambulance. I remember I seeing know. a kid walk out of the store and just like look at him. Pizza like, and stare at him. Just like looking at him and then like look back at his dad and just like looked at him again. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> he was like on the floor doing that? He oh, yeah. He was on like, the side. He was twer- oh. It literally looked like he got stuck break dancing. Like uh, Adam Sandler with click. Like he was in the middle of like a frozen head spin time. or something, and he just froze him, and then he's like, or someone tased and he was like him. Like all, yeah, all stuck. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's the best. It literally Perpetual, looked like he was getting tased, perpetually getting uh, tased. Yeah, that is so crazy. That was awesome. Yeah, that was a wild one. That was. I've uh, seen that here. I remember seeing a, cool a, a tweaker outside. Like it was really late at night, and I guess like one grocery store or something <laughs> was still playing their music on their speakers outside, and he was just vibing to it. Just he was dancing. I was yeah, playing like Michael cool. Jackson or some shit, and he was just going at it. Their life yeah, might be see, fucked, uh, but they have fun. They, yeah, have they fun. do be sure. having fun. I mean, shit. They're, they're not going to work. At least go have fun. At least yeah, dance. <laughs> do dance some crack, away. listen to Michael Jackson. Why not? <laughs> we uh, we didn't get to see my favorite crackhead, though. I was really hoping that guy was there. I think I've talked about him before, but he's always got his wiener out. Oh, um, always? He always just be pulling that, he, dude, he'd just be pulling that shit out. And mm. uh, I was telling him the one time, I thought I was... I think I was... I, I couldn't remember. Somebody said they were with me. I couldn't remember who it was. I think it was Manny that was actually with me. But we were walking to... It's, it's like right outside of Starbucks. And we were walking to the Starbucks, and I saw him in a big, long, white dress shirt. And I was like, oh, my God, he's actually, like, his wiener's not out today. That's it's actually huge. Like, this is character development. That's good. Then we crossed the street. We got a little closer. I'm like, I feel like I can kind of see flesh. Why can I see flesh in the dress shirt? So, you know, the the space between buttons on a dress shirt? Yeah. He yep. had jammed his, his cock and balls through the dress shirt. So he was wearing clothing, but his balls it's <laughs> intentionally <laughs> showing that. <laughs> Just sticking out, and it was really like business dude, casual. It looked, it looked like he had like a cock ring on, like they were like party in like, the front, he, party in the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you couldn't really see his butt cheeks. It was pretty long. Huh. Damn. Well, that's nice. But yeah, that what guy's a cool, cool guy. Yeah, I think that uh, fashion will catch him. I shouldn't that say he's always there. We've probably seen him like three times now, but it's something that's notable enough every time you see it that you're like, hey. Oh, yeah, there's dick guy. That's dick, dick guy. guy right there. Yeah, old it's got this guy. wiener out. It's an old cock and ball guy. We got to get him. poop guy to meet dick guy. Have they met? Uh, poop, yeah, well, poop guy was with, the one that was with me when we uh, when we saw his wiener through the dress shirt. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So poop guy and dick guy have met. Um, I feel like they speak go, the same uh, dialect. I'm sure yeah. they could communicate. You know, if I Manny wonder if dick was guy can homeless. Do back farts. <laughs> what a I sense. don't think so. I don't I <laughs> think <laughs> you got to do that, bro. You gotta do like Mr. Miyagi, like wax on, wax off training to like you gotta yeah. you gotta really put I'm in sure the time. I'm sure guy probably that. wax off. <laughs> I I feel like if Manny was homeless, he'd be like the naked homeless guy though. Yeah, because he's not homeless he's and he's naked in his the home. Naked guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunted and other people's homes. Um, what and, else? What uh, else was dude. fun? We oh. gambled. Oh. We went to a casino. Tell me about that. Uh, did you win? Yeah, did you lose? Did you got, win? Did you lose? Uh, Soup got age restricted in real life. Yep, I that was that funny. Mean. We were playing, <laughs> we were playing what does craps. That mean? <laughs> so soup was very reserved when we started, but the guy. Well, tell him how super... I was dressed before. Oh, you saying fuck okay, shit at so, the craps? Were you wearing a long white yes. shirt? So oh, we, we went to <laughs> yeah. we went to Smitty's and Smitty, every once in a while, clear out all the clothes he doesn't wear anymore. Um, so I brought over some of mine and he had a bunch. So we literally had like a full fucking shop set up in, in one of Smitty's guest rooms. It was like the Salvation and, Army. Yeah, except yeah. it was all designer clothes. <laughs> it was like yeah. a, it was like <laughs> Salvation Army in Beverly Hills. Um, Basically. So Soup went picking through it, and he found this off-white button-up and the worst off-white beanie I've ever seen. This thing is so No, I'm so pretty sure fucking... Smitty handed me Like the brand shirt. or the, the color? Both. The brand. Oh. 
brand the brand off-white the shirt is like this kind of like gray color with a bunch of orange flowers all over it and then the hat is bright green with orange font i should have fucking this thing, wore it dude dude fuck, i didn't even think about it the fucking i i shit you not this hat is probably like a foot tall <laughs> it's, it's the a longest beanie. hat it uh. is massive for no good reason it was it was like a 2016 hat when you know that was a that was a vibe just those long ass beanies yeah so soup had i don't remember what she there you go <laughs> that's a <laughs> long ass hat there he is. That's that's, that's how I dressed good. all day. So yeah, we went to the casino like that, and uh, so he. But you were actually very like reserved when we first started playing. You were very quiet, calm, collected. We were just playing craps, having fun. But mm-hmm. the supervisor that was there was an asshole. So mm. we're, like we haven't played craps in a while, so we're like you know every time you play that game again, a lot of people there's so many little rules and intricacies that you're like. You know, you kind of forget about because every time you play, you're drunk. So, like, you know, you ask for a little bit of help from the dealers and, you know, the supervisor. And they usually just go over the rules again or say, like, oh, you know, do this or don't do this. Like, this is how this works. The right. guy was being a fucking asshole. He was talking to us like we were the stupidest motherfuckers on the planet. And, like, which was making was me angry. That, yeah. That, it's weird that we don't come out and gamble every night. Like, he was just talking to us mm. like we were idiots, yeah. Um, yeah. which was fine. And at this point, Soup was being very respectful. And then I think this guy started to piss you off because Soup started to get more and more out of pocket. Like you were, just, you were just fucking chirping the guy, like the guy with the stick that hands you the dice. Every time you would say something, Soup would just say something super like passive aggressive and goofy or like you'd roll four and be like, fuck yeah, I fucking love four. Four is my fucking number. Let's fucking go. Like just spam it. They're just spammed fuck. Like, just, yeah, like grab just the dice player. Woo, just, come on. Woo, fuck yeah, baby. Woo. And he, just, and the guy they didn't really care about that and then i forget what you rolled we were like holy stinky donkey pussy and the supervisor's <laughs> like hey that's enough man <laughs> and like, that's no more of that it's just like, yes sir i'm sorry sir <laughs> just like we're just trying to have a little fun <laughs> oh i gotta like, start doing that shit when i get like 21 it was, it was, <laughs> it was so oh. fucking funny because like yeah. the casino was pretty dead like there wasn't a whole lot of people no it was in not there, packed you know yeah and, I was just being overly stupid. And we were on purpose. And we were the only ones at this craps table though. There was one we had one spectator, just this little Indian dude at the end of the table just watching, didn't want to play. Just wanted to watch us throw the dice, I guess. I don't know. But he's like it, losing dude, his life like, savings while you're screaming donkey pussy. Also, we were we were spending a good amount of money there too, so I figured he like wouldn't really care if we're you know talking about stinky donkey pussies. I don't really know what his vibe was. And then he got mad at you for putting a lip in, like a zin. And it's oh, like, yeah. bro, what it, it is like, this? No zen, no zen. I was like, oh. Yeah, that guy what? was a weenie. Yeah, like, he was just Sorry, I didn't know I was no in reason. Russia, bitch. Yeah. yeah, that's a weird rule. It was just that guy. The, re- that the rest matter? of the time, we had we had pretty good pretty good vibes with all the... Because, dude, casino nights can actually be ruined by the, like, dealer if they saw Oh, 100%. If they're an yeah. asshole, yeah. It, it just brings the whole vibe down. All the yeah. other ones we had were, were great from what I can remember. I don't think we had any other assholes, but no, yeah, we just played blackjack, cool, blackjack craps. Um, I lost. Smitty all got my money. lucky on the buffalo. Buffalo, dude. buffalo, dude. Smitty went dicko mode on the buffalo, dude. He, I, I forget what he, he didn't even put in much. I think it was like two hundred and fifty bucks, and he just his soup found it was was it you or Ethan that told him about the bonus thing? Uh, what? It would have been you. The like what? bonus thing on top of the buffalo machine. Oh no! It, it like automatically does that, but I was like, I don't think you realize how much you're like winning right now. Well, but no, maybe so like Ethan might so have mentioned bu- something too. I don't know. It might have been. So there's like the so on the buffalo machines. There's like it was like the ones with the two screen, like the little fucking like it's like a giant tower of screens. And on top, there's like the the it says bonus, and there's like this bonus bar. And the one that Smitty went to, he was about to go to another one. I maybe it was Jared that pointed. Out. I can't remember who pointed it out, but they were like, "Yo, the bonus one on this one's already almost full. You should just go to that one." Uh, so Smitty's like, "Oh yeah, okay, that's cool." And he literally, I think it was like, I mean, he was just spamming it, so it's hard to tell how many he went with. But it was probably like maybe a minute in, and he hit the bonus thing, 
and it just kept going. It just kept like giving him more and more spins for free. Yeah, he got into and, the free games. Mm, yeah, yeah, and it just true. every time it was like he'd get six more and it'd count down. He'd be on the last one. Then he'd be like six more. And after like a minute of that, it was like, dude, I don't think you realize how much money you might be winning right now. Or like yeah. no idea. So it just kept going and going. Eventually, he, I think he ended up with like was it like two grand. He won fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, cool. dollars on the Buffalo machine. Off of, it was really only, he only that's why had you never stop. That you point. never back down. You never give you up. You never back down. You're always yeah, one bet away from twenty dollars of actually <laughs> betting too. So with twenty dollars, yeah. every time you have twenty dollars to your name, go bet it on Buffalo. Amen. That's a moral of the story. And eventually you hit trust. Eventually you will hit. Go look for the bonus Buffalo one. Yeah. So it was a good ending to the night. The Buffalo reigns supreme. Not for me. I lost all my money. <laughs> yes, and Jared sorry. lost my money, too. I, I, I gave, I it was Jared's birthday, money. so I gave him money to gamble. He lost it all. He kept putting stuff on black. Black did not hit. Actually, and then he started putting it on numbers, and I was like, if this hits, you owe me money. <laughs> yeah, we, we had some pretty bad luck besides the Buffalo. Yeah. But it was fun, not though. A, Good not a great, not a great vibe for the rest of us. What I think is crazy is that in Canada they have people that go around in the casino to Dude. discourage them from gambling. What? Yeah, that is so. This, we, like, which like, is hilarious. Employees? We just yeah. pulled money out. Yeah, and this guy came over and he's like, "How you doing, guys? Hope you're having a good night." We're like, "Yeah, you know, we're chilling. What's up?" He's like, "I just want to remind you guys, you know, set a set a limit. You know, remind yourselves oh. what's important yeah, and where your money should go." Off. Pussy. Fuck off, dude. Pussy like, damn, bro. Leave me smell, alone. Smell like bitch right now. What is that? <laughs> Only at a Canadian. What you say, little casino. bitch? What you say, little bitch? What little pussy a say? It's a Caesar's. Like it's. You it's should have just took your like lot of money and like ripped it in half and like fuck you. <laughs> so light your shit we'll on get fire. another grand. Yeah. <laughs> it's like grab him by his face and scream at him. <laughs> <laughs> they took everything from me. They took it all. <laughs> Let's calmly turn back. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, and then the Weird. the drink thing I didn't know about. Have you guys ever been to a casino in your no. entire fucking life where no. when you're at a table and the drink person comes by, you have to pay for the drinks? No, it's usually always free. Well, you tip them, dude. Ooh, yeah, not in Canada. Them, like five bucks. Dude, I've I swear to God, I've been in that casino a hundred times. Ain't no way. I feel like I've been plastered there without paying a dollar other than like yeah i felt like an asshole because i I always usually tip and i asked the dealer at the table for some uh like chips to tip with and i gave that guy five bucks when he came back with my drink he's like it's like sir it's seven dollars blank eyes (laughs) yeah i was like like, scared and confused like what's seven (laughs) dollars i was so confused i i don't know maybe i'm just misremembering but i can't remember paying for drinks at tables there so, mm-hmm. I don't know. Weird. But yeah, that was lame as fuck. But the rest of it was good. We gambled. We lost money. Then we went to a, a little boof ass bar, ate way too much food, and then uh, and went to bed. And then uh, when we were going back through the border, I was dropping off. Uh, actually, I guess we'll we'll talk about Kamala first. That Kamala? was wild. Kamala. So uh, Soup and Ethan stayed a day later than Pezzy, Droid, Puffer. Grizzy, Yummy, and John. So me and Smitty had to drive them across the border to the airport and then came back and met them at a bar after whatever. But uh, after, right after we dropped them all off at the airport, me and Smitty were driving back, and I think it was I-75, which is normally like an extremely busy highway. We were, we were going, and there was nothing in the oncoming lane at all, like no cars. And I was like, that's weird. It's like the middle of the day. I don't know. That's kind of sus. And then I just saw like 10 police cars rip by. Like they were flying. I was like, uh, that's not good. They're going towards the airport. Hmm. Sorry, did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> fucking motorcycle just ripped by. Uh. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I saw those go by. So I called Smitty. I was like, dude, those are going right to the airport. Should we like call the guys and make sure everything's all good at the airport? Uh, so they were like, yeah, our, our gate got changed. It's like, dude, that's weird. What the fuck is going on? And then as soon as I hang up the phone, I swear to God, it was a hundred police cars just peeling around the corner. There was a bunch of big armored Escalades. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like Vladimir Putin's got to be in town. Oh, and I was shit. like, okay, it's got to be like Joe Biden. 
and we we I forget who we texted about it to look into it. I think it might have been Manny. He's like, yeah, Kamala Harris is in Detroit. You guys just drove by Kamala Harris. <laughs> there was well, I think dude, Ethan it, looked it up and was like, yeah, was Kamala, it Ethan? Yeah, yeah, Kamala Harris was like in on the same highway, which is so weird. Dude, like, I what, have what never seen that many police cars in my life. Like, it, it, I actually if I wouldn't have saw the Escalades, I would have thought nine eleven two just took place. It yeah. was a wall of lights. I could not. It was just absurd. They all had their signs the amount, on. All of them, like not huh. like not the like noise, but just, just the, the lights. lights. Uh, yeah. mm. So it was just uh, at least uh, like minimum fifty police cars in one small square, and then there was ton before and a ton after. So I'd probably say there was close to a hundred police cars just driving her to the airport and then because of that they closed like half the airport and all their gates got moved around and a bunch of flights got delayed it's like oh, damn bro, she would have she would have lost my vote yeah. <laughs> i was about to board my flight and then had to go like oh i'm at gate one. Oh, by the way gate 70 now nah that's Cooked. it voting for trump, trump now uh, yeah voting for trump now you bitch damn that's just, what are the, the fucking odds yeah of that it was timing? cool that's yeah crazy. it was weird yeah i genuinely thought there was a terrorist attack happening yeah like wholeheartedly was like, yep, our friends have died at the airport. At least, uh, at least I don't have to go back. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. God, imagine I like hearing a, about that on like YouTube videos and shit. Like, oh, ten YouTubers died over the ten YouTubers, YouTubers dealt, with. dealt with. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Russian badger line. <laughs> Whenever we got yeah, to the airport be... to go back home, <laughs> Blarg dropped us off. Dude, I got sketched out. We drove through the border, Blarg. <laughs> Like the guy, what did he say? He he was like, "What are two people from South Carolina doing with a Canadian or something?" Did yeah. he say that? It's a yeah, valid like question. Lines. Valid question. And, and then he uh, was like, "Yeah, how do y'all know one another or whatever?" And Blark was like, "Oh, we do YouTube or whatever." And the guy <laughs> looked up Blark's channel. <laughs> well, I was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, he kept shit. asking me how to spell it. I was like, Blark, Blark, like B L A R G. And then he looked at soup, and I was like, soup, like, like the soup. <laughs> <laughs> and he just fucking stared at me like I was the biggest idiot on the planet. And I was like, that one's valid. <laughs> and, and then he, like, he found your channel. Say? He found your yeah. channel. And then he was like, well, now I know what I'm doing for the next hour. No, bro. No, he was mean about it. He said, well, now I got something useless to watch. <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> and then yeah, he put us through the fucking, <laughs> he put us through the pack-a-punch machine, bro. Yeah, we got he, a pack of punch oh, randomly, yeah. I, we told him what we did. And he randomly, randomly selected. selected. Oh, yeah. So Very he, made the, he made the brown guy go through the x-ray machine in my car and soup and dallas or soup and ethan just got to hang out on the nice little white guy bench they just sat there and watched me go through <laughs> Hello, the x-ray America. machine and this lady was like you have to go get that a rab i'm telling you get that a rab me and me yeah, and my was, buddy gonna sit on the bench how stressed i was and she's like you have to go through at exactly five miles an hour no more no less or we have to search the car because the x-ray won't work and i was like my car's in kilometers an hour she said well good luck I was like, dude what the fuck do you mean so I, I didn't even i just guess i think i just went like like eight kilometers an hour and i was like fuck it hopefully that's good enough and then they yeah they were like no he's all good just a bunch of shit back here i was like oh thank god dude i've had the worst experiences at the border so i don't know what it's been the last two weeks i've gone across the border like a hundred fucking times whether it's like to drop them off at the airport or we just went to go golfing me jared and uh nick and we went across the border and he's like Sir, can you put it in park? Shut the car off. He's like, yep, no problem. Whatever. He's like, he's on the dash. Phone's on the dash. No problem. Cool. He's just looking around the car. They got like, you know, that little uh, uh, mirror on a stick where they check the bottom of your car and stuff like that. Uh, and then he's like, yeah, I need you to open the trunk. And we had our golf stuff in there. <laughs> and uh, dude, I, I don't know how these guys got a, a job at the border because they literally like barely spoke English and didn't really know what was going on. And they looked through our stuff, whatever closed it. And we had golf bags. Golf. And he goes up to the car. He's like, you guys on your way to play baseball? <laughs> and dude, I thought he was joking, so I laughed. It's like, seriously, what's all the equipment in the back for? I was like, we're going golfing. And the dude in the booth is crying. He was laughing his ass off. It's like, dude, they're golf bags. We're not we're not going to play baseball. He just kind of hit the car. He's like, all right, see you later. <laughs> Dumbass. Fuck? Maybe he was bad. trying to like trip you up. And we're like, oh, yeah, we're going to play baseball. It's like, yeah, those are golf know. bags, dude. <laughs> you, know, you mean my heroin bag? Yeah, we're going to pedal heroin. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No, not baseball. It's, that's heroin. My Fent bag. We're going to the Fent <laughs> house. <laughs> There's actually a dead body in it. 
Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, sir, those are bodies, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's never a nice experience going through the border. I feel like they're always weird. Is there not like an airport where you live? Uh, not really. Not one that could fly to South Carolina. I don't think. I think we like if we wanted to do it in Canada, we just do the uh, Toronto one. Mm-hmm. But Pearson is ass, and Billy Bishop Ugh. is small and on an island, so it's a hassle to get to. Uh, um, so we just go to Detroit airport. It's usually uh. Usually a lot Do you have easier. to have a passport to drive over a border? Correct. Oh, I thought it was only for yeah. flying. Yeah. No. Nope. No, you gotta have a any any crossing like any mm-hmm. border, regardless of where it is. Even if you're over the water, you have to have a have a passport. Day. Well, you don't technically have to have one. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Depend, depending on what country you're mm. asking, oh. you don't really <laughs> need one. Mine mine worked. What do you mean by that? Out what? It. What's happening? You know what I mean. <laughs> FBI, this guy right here. FBI. He's, in, he's incriminating himself. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mine worked. Little crayon. You keep crayon. saying that. <laughs> you keep saying that like it's weird that it worked. I think this guy needs to get through the pack a punch machine. <laughs> put me through yeah, the pack a punch. That was pretty BM that they only put my brown ass through the pack a punch machine. I, think it's I thought we were gonna miss our flight back home, dude. Me and Ethan were. Oh yeah, you guys did. I dropped you. To be fair, I dropped them off at the wrong terminal. Just drove off. Just <laughs> headed back to Canada. We Got were very from, late. I think it was Ethan that was calling it stress. He's like, we're at the wrong terminal. Uh, it was like, so it was like your flight is boarding in 20 minutes, and we hadn't even went through security yet, or dropped off and our we're bags at the wrong or anything. Terminal. We're at the wrong terminal. And we would go up to the lady, and she's like, oh, the other terminal, you can get there. Uh, the bus comes every 15 minutes, and our flight is boarding in 20 minutes, and we're at the wrong terminal. So we're like, oh, fuck. I was going prison time speeds to try to get back to pick you guys up. <laughs> I was fucking yeah. ripping down the highway trying to turn back around. It's so stupid. There was So there was construction. Normally, it's like if you try to leave, like where, I, where they called me, there was literally a ramp to get back on. Where I could have just picked Should them have up jumped and jumped that dude, bitch, dude. Just dude. fucking. Jump. And it was it was closed off because of traffic or because of construction. So I literally had to go like all the way down this highway. Like it would have been a ten minute drive if I wasn't driving like an absolute hooligan. Uh, but ended up getting back and I literally dropped them off basically as their flight was boarding. Well, so we, were, we were we were uh, so we were like stressing to get there, and we like get our bags checked and everything, and we're go- uh, and I'm like fucking stressing out as well and i'm like trying to walk I've, I've like cut through in front of everyone that's like in line to get their like uh boarding pass and their little bag tag and everything you know and so i just cut through the front of everyone to get to the tsa and i like duck under one of those uh things it's like the little guard the little strap and i'm like <coughs> my bag gets caught on it and the thing like zips off onto the floor <coughs> And I just turned around, looked at it, and laughed, and kept walking really fast away. <laughs> and everyone in line is just like looking at me, like this fucking moron. And I had to shit so bad, dude. I had to shit so <laughs> bad. That, that makes your it relics so much worse. In, your relics <laughs> aren't even in camera. We'll put them. Oh yeah, I left Blark some Zen in case he gets Zen bored. Zen and then are they empty? Nicotine addiction. Dude, tell him about Nick Bliss. <laughs> Let me finish my shit story, and I'll I'll get to the, to the, the shit sketchy story. sketchy Russian nicotine story. Um, those might be illegal, by the way. You might not. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, dude, they smell I'm, like cancer. Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> they're, that's why I left them. They're horrible. So I'm <laughs> rushing to get to my plane. Um, hauling ass. I have to shit so bad. I'm like, maybe I'll have time to shit. Maybe I'll have time to shit. We're going up to our gate. Boom! Flight gets delayed for like 20 minutes. So we were speeding our ass off to get there. Then the flight gets delayed, like right as we're getting there. So we're like, oh, okay, we have a minute. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. This fucking bathroom was so tiny. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's Nick Bliss. It was so <laughs> tiny. The line was like out the door, and I was like, I don't have time. I, like, I literally do not have enough time. Pants pooping. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to shit on the plane. So we get on the plane. <laughs> mm. Snakes yeah, on the plane, call. brother. <laughs> bad call. Yeah, snakes. <laughs> Little mud turkey on the plane. Bad call. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. I don't think I've ever needed to shit on a plane. That sounds terrible, terrible. Terrible call. So I'm sitting there like, you know, how you're sitting when you had to shit really bad, and you're like, please don't shit yourself Squeezing on the plane. your stomach. Ugh. And we, we were like on the tarmac. We hadn't even, 
we, we were just like not even moving yet. And I'm like, I need to go shit. And I get the flight attendant's attention. I'm like, when can I go to the bathroom? He's like, oh, you cannot go to the bathroom until we are in Sky. I'm like, okay, <laughs> wonderful. That's great. So I'm sitting there. And then we finally take off. And I'm sitting there fucking looking up at the seatbelt sign like, turn off, turn off, <laughs> turn off, turn off. Dang, it turns off. I immediately get up, go to the bathroom. Dude, the Shoving bathroom on this plane. Bro, yeah, I'm like fucking NFL running through people. And I, dude, this bathroom, I'm like sitting there like this, having to shit. It's like so tiny, like the walls are oh, like right here. The, mm-hmm. Dude, was it one of the like? So I, I, again, I've never, I've never luckily had the dookie on so a plane. Bad. So but bad. So bad. Even Don't when I it. pee, mm-hmm. my head like hits the thing because it's shaped like a fucking cylinder. Oh, it's for midgets. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Oh, so 100%. like, even when you. Even when you piss, your head hits a thing. I, I feel like if you're shitting, you have to shit like that. Oh, it was All bad, dude. Up. Yeah. It was 100%. bad. And so I'm sitting there, like, shitting. I'm just blowing this bitch up, dude. <laughs> just, blow, just having the Hershey squirts in this motherfucker. <laughs> like, my shoulders like this. Like, pissing down my leg. It's horrible. <laughs> and Look like so, Golem in there. Yeah, literally. And, dude, I stood up, flushed the toilet. Would not flush all the way. No, I flushed oh, again. Shit, huh? Would not. That's flush when you just put way. like two layers of toilet paper over top so nobody can. Well, see I balled it. some up just and tried to like hit toilet paper off the side, you know, because my toilet paper was like stuck to the side. Would not come off. I tried to flush it four times, and I was like, "Fuck it, I give up. I give up. Leave it where it lies. Rest in peace. Whatever. Wait, <laughs> where it lies. Play Left on a logged ass toilet. Dude, so I, I was. I, so I'm walking back to my seat and I sit down beside Ethan and I'm like telling him and he starts laughing and we're like laughing about it. Then the flight attendants all start like coming up to the front, okay? And they stand like a barricade in the front of the plane. Oh, the no. The cockpit opens and the yep. fucking pilot yep. comes out. I've never seen the pilot mm-hmm. have to go take his shit during a flight. They're barricading the front of the plane. The pilot walks out and goes directly into the bathroom. And me and Ethan are looking each, at each other just crying, laughing. And I'm like, dude, no one else has used a bathroom on this plane. And the pilot's in there looking at my bowl of shit. He's like, we just took off and there's a monster in this toilet. <laughs> like, they really just cleaned this pilot. bitch, dude. He's the first one to use it. It'll be perfect. Yeah. Just goes in there hilarious. and just sees, sees. The captain of the ship is <laughs> looking at my if I was Tim Horton, <laughs> entire Tim Horton's farmer rap in the toilet. If yes. I was that pilot, I would have taken that bitch into the nearest Dude, building. Dude, I would have actually done. committed an atrocity. Yep. I would have we flown that bitch He was in, in the there Pentagon. for so long, too. I would have hit I'm the guess- fucking White House with that plane. <laughs> Dude, he was easily in there for like 20 minutes, and I'm wondering if the whole time he was struggling to get it to flush, because it would not flush, dude. It just would not fucking flush. Dude, he probably had the worst day of work because of you. <laughs> I'm like, of all people, I'm like, of all the people on the fucking plane that use that after me, the Has goddamn the pilot, of the, plane. the lord of and the it's plane. It's not even and like you know, a normal person know, going, he, it's like they made a spectacle, like we were blocking off yep. the front of the plane, the pilot is shitting alert <laughs> the Everyone. guy who's your your life is in his hands is just in there at. pressing the fucking button because my shit <laughs> yeah cause my shit's in the toilet i could have killed like do 200 think, people do you, do you think he tried to like flush yours first or was he just like i'm a pile on he, top he of this. definitely tried <laughs> gonna, to flush I'm gonna, first. I'm gonna finish off somebody else's work you know i, like, I, I, you I would hope he would have tried to flush attack. mine first dude it was pretty bad like it you think he was just bad. like Matt Damon oh. finishing off the equations of your turd, just like putting more on top of it, oh my the God. final touches. He was in there for so long. <laughs> Do they have plungers on planes? I mean, they need to start. I guess you're a menace, but this is a plane. Like, you plunge it. You can't plunge it because the one? thing opens and it suctions out. It's yeah. like yeah, suck. you can't plunge so what are you it. So that's I guess the suction I, thing. Was that's crazy up because out. I feel like the <laughs> suction is usually enough to like pull your innards out if you weren't careful. Yeah. Yeah, you must have shat I, I guess concrete, my boy. I don't know, dude. It was bad. I used to think it, was, it just that, like it would just drop out of the bottom of the plane. It does. That's that's exactly <laughs> does it? what happens. Yeah, it, it falls on yep. the really? There it goes right there. You've never had poo land on your house? <laughs> you guys are fucking with me. Airplane poo. 
Dude, are you He's 12? Like shit, they don't just drop fecal matter from <laughs> 30,000 feet. I know, that's why I said farmers I used to think it. that. Now you guys are trying to convince me of it. You guys like, you are just, fucking with me. You imagine just sitting in your fucking house and just a turd hits your window at like 100 <laughs> miles an hour. Like, terminal probably go through your house, You can yeah. kill somebody. It just shatters your window. It's, it's like that video shit. of like a, a, a grain of sand going at the speed of light hitting Earth. Just explodes. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine like a very fibrous, thick, dry doo-doo? Just, that actually could just call like, it, dude. It, it'd it be like a new cause brain damage. Yeah. Yeah. I just oh, imagine yeah. it would separate it would in the atmosphere to where it just become particles. Of no, it, was, it would light on fire and be like a fucking meteor right into your home. What if it was like splattery <laughs> diarrhea, though? Flaming napalm. I, I was yeah, gonna say, like napalm. napalm and, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, it would give your car like a mohawk of doo doo if you were driving straight down the road and just a straight line oh. of doo doo from a. Point. I do blame it on Tim Hortons though. I had Tim Hortons what like you three had Tim Hortons times. so many times, bro. I, it was I was being force fed Tim Hortons, dude. You I literally were. Me, you there was like, me uh, there was the like a Starbucks, rap. a McDonald's, <laughs> a fucking. Burger King, whatever, Popeyes, all sort, KFC, all sorts of different options there if you wanted fast food. And he kept going, I want a farmer's wrap. So we, <laughs> was, get, we got him good. fucking farmer's wraps. It, it would clean you out. I see why everyone eats it, dude. That, What's that, in that this bitch, shit? It's, uh, so the, the farmer's brown? wrap, yes, yeah, a hash okay. brown, two eggs, uh, uh -huh. like sausage? Sausage and bacon. No, Manny adds bacon to his. Oh, Manny okay. made, that's, what, that's why I had it again because Manny's like, you gotta get my favorite thing, and I was like, okay. Is that how he sounds? His favorite so thing was just a farmer. He just turns into an Italian man. <laughs> Let me tell you about a menu item. You can't. Let me tell you about my favorite Tim Hortons menu God, item. The bacon. It was literally a farmer's wrap with bacon. That yeah, it was fire. It, it was fire. Good. It it's shit not that good, lot. bro. The the, it, I feel like it could be good. <laughs> the concept of it is good, but dude, Tim Hortons hash browns. Any Canadian or Northeasterner U.S. man can vouch for this. They are the most disgusting thing. I'm sure they're delicious when they come out of the fryer, but they put they take them out of the fryer and they put them in this thing that's like it keeps them warm using Heat steam. Lamp. Oh no, not even. It's like this steam. steamy, steamy cupboard full of meats oh, and it hash steams browns. when it comes and out it's, too. And it's just this little fucking <laughs> floppy little gross ass potato patty. That's it's terrible. not good. Mm. And there's no salt on it either. It was good. McDonald's, it's like you don't even taste the hash brown. You're just getting a crunchy salt. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's like I had a God double himself double as well. made you something. Oh, you had a double yeah, double? How did, how did you double, like the double double? double? The double double like to me was the most coffee tasting coffee ever. Yeah. If you give well, it a I sand. don't love them. Two creams, two sugars, right? Isn't that like, what they yeah, put in they there? Taste like, yep. Yeah, they taste like if you described coffee to somebody who never had coffee. Basically, yeah. It was like, if you think of coffee, that is like what a default coffee mm -hmm. dot mp3. They're just that weird because they don't like... I, I Coffee, I, I usually either like it relatively black or so fucked up that it's not even like coffee anymore. It's just milk. Like, just yeah, sugar. one of those crazy Starbucks ones with like, yeah, yeah 400 calories of just caramel macchiato doo-doo splash with a little whipped cream come shot on top. Ass blood like, in there. Piss yeah, blood. Yeah, like those Piss ones smoothie. or just like pretty much black coffee. The weird in between, it's like what's the vibe of this? What are we doing here? You know? Let's just it go one so way or the other. so fucking hot too, dude. That coffee was like yeah. scorching hot. <clears throat> yeah. Which I like. Mia. I enjoyed it. I thought the double double was good. It's like just coffee. Literally coffee. Yep. Did you get any uh, poutine? Are you really? Yeah, we Grizzy ate it. got fucking poutine. I think I saw Grizzy eat like eight different poutines in a span of five days. It's fucking good, <laughs> dude. Must have it had can't be bad. It. It's just gravy and cheese on fries. How do you fuck well, that Even up, our, our five so guys good. here has uh, has poutine. Really? Oh, that's where I got it. So we stopped at po we stopped at five guys twice on the way to Toronto on the way back, and uh, yeah, Grizzy got big ass poutine both times. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, that shit slaps. You want to uh, you want to tell them about Nick Bliss? Yeah. Yeah, so the first day that I was there, I only had one can of Zen on me, and we had Dude, dinner. It's full. <laughs> Dude, I had one of them. I you should have try one, one right now, Blake. Like... No. Dude, don't. Do not. Do not, Predicky. Do not. 
I'm not. I feel like Go double be decky. instant cancer. <laughs> so I only had one can, and I had like There's one Zen, and I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Is there any I didn't Zins prepare. Left? No. I ain't leaving none of that gold behind for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a parting gift for sleeping in my guest room. You would have left me a Zen. Nope. Only Nick Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Bliss Cage. <laughs> So okay, I went anyway. to the uh, I went to the convenience yeah, store, dude. and yeah, I showed yeah. him that can. I was like, "You have any Zen?" And then the guy he was Russian, and he was like, "No, they are illegal here, illegal." And I'm like, "What? What is that legal? Why? Isn't weed legal? I can't put a little upper decky in." You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he was smart. like, he was like, uh, he was like, "Come, come next door. Go out front and go next door." And I'm like, "Okay." So. Uh, <laughs> I go I go outside the convenience store. I go in the door that is next door to the convenience store and he has like a little shop in there and I walk in and he like looks at me and he's like shakes his head and he like goes down in this little compartment thing, opens it up, like I think he took like a key out and unlocked it and opened it up and he just like threw two cans of Nick Bliss on the table. And I was like, Okay. And uh, I was like, Do you what? How much were they? I I think it was like 20 bucks for both of the cans. Mm. I got two cans of it. I got uh, mint and blueberry lemon. <laughs> Weird. This is the mint. You left me the mint. I left you the mint, yeah, in case you in case you want to try it's, one. Uh, it's expired. <laughs> it is expired. He sold me two cans of expired Nick Bliss, and I still tried. I, I tried one. No. No, sir. I mean, dude, even no. smelling this, they smell like acidic oh yeah they smell like hell is a rock. that'll definitely it'll they're yeah they're expired which probably doesn't help <laughs> and they're from the black market apparently yeah. so who knows what the shit that is yeah i, well, I, I mean, literally did like a tarkov tarkov uh, trade to get those. <laughs> yeah it's plant fiber water there's water in here sweetener moisturizers <laughs> just like hand moisturizer <laughs> aromas just general aromas, mm. Mm -hmm. nicotine, acidity regulator. It tasted like and dog shit. Sure. It yeah, tasted I'd put like that dog in my body. <laughs> shit. I had no other option for nicotine. It'll make you see God. See, and then Zin just says nicotine salt and other food grade ingredients. Amen, brother. And they're That's not expired. Wow. That is all you need for a good time. So yeah, I bought those. That was all while tried. Smitty was getting a parking ticket too. Well, a fake one. <laughs> we came out and uh, this was at like a restaurant, and they went across the street because Soup saw the sketchy convenience store, and uh, I think whatever Smitty and a couple other guys went with them. And then we were going to the parking lot, and the parking lot it's so stupid. It's connected to a restaurant, but it's technically city parking, but they don't accept credit card or like have an app or anything so you have to have loonies and toonies on you which i i absolutely never have you know any cash on me ever so i just hope i don't get parking tickets every time i eat there and we came out and i was like oh fuck because i saw the guy at my window and he like turned and i was like nope i'm leaving don't bother i'm leaving and he's like yep no problem man and he's like anyway love the content dude and i was like oh this guy knows who we are bet so I brought him over to Smitty's car, and I was like, Smitty will be back in a second. Start writing him a parking ticket right now. <laughs> so we all just sat there and watched this guy. He's just cooking on his little thing, like scanning the plate, like actually doing the full process. And I just see Smitty's just like, and just fucking just like hustles over. And he's like, what the fuck, man? And like, you would say anything? It's like, nah, bro, you're fine. You're just getting a ticket. And we were just, we were fucking dying. But then he didn't end up giving one, which was... uh lame as hell i would have loved him to just like laugh like oh, yes many of a huge fan just put it in his window and walk away <laughs> you owe me ten dollars crumples it up and like throws it at him deal with this bitch <laughs> just licks it back and sticks it to his head <laughs> you know blog i, yeah, I think you was, might uh, i think you might chill. actually be beating the the do veiny arm <clears throat> oh yeah he's lean right now look at this dude yeah we, i've been getting a lot of those lately it's weird uh, your left arm's coming from my the, spot bitch I'm covering up i feel veins. like how <laughs> I'm getting hard. You feel, yeah. Next time you guys might see. Actually, you can see ankle anyway. Say next time you guys might even see some ankle. But how do you guys feel about uh, Nick Akata losing all that weight? It, he Shit looks crazy. like skinny Peter Griffin <laughs> or skinny yeah. skinny Peter Griffin. Skinny Peter Griffin. It looks weird. weird. 
He just he's like an older version of his younger self, which I guess kind of yeah. that's how everybody is. But is that how that works? I mean, <clears throat> well, he's just been fat forever. And then when you see yeah. pictures of him being skinny, he was only like fucking I don't know twenty. He said it was like a didn't he say it was like a social experiment too? Yeah, yeah. So apparently he's been working on that for two years. I and wonder how of, much Ozempic is in that man's body. All. Oh. 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 <laughs> I mean, Ozempic or not, it is impressive as hell to lose two hundred and fifty pounds. But like, what time That's frame did crazy. he lose that in? Two years. So apparently yeah, two, uh, years, two years. Yeah. Total. Two years. Because wow, he nice. had he had like a. Uh, had just pre-recorded a lot of videos. So like everything that's yep. come out in the past two years has just been right. pre-recorded. Pre-recorded content. Well, wasn't there one of him that was relatively skinny? Because I remember seeing screenshots of yes. him and it was like, it was probably after a year and he like looked a lot healthier. Yeah, he looks like he was lost like, like he's 100 pounds maybe. Yeah. He's actually taking care of himself. And then had it, back it was the back to day. slop. Yeah, basically. I mean, with, with how he's done it in the past, that's not surprising. If a motherfucker's eating like 20,000 calories a, in a just you know a minute a day yeah. yeah then uh then putting on 100 pounds isn't uh isn't anything crazy i wonder Not if he like make a video talking about it yeah yeah he made two mm-hmm. and then somebody like, he just somebody did just, released, it just to do it yeah he said it was a social experiment which i i don't i mean i don't know i don't want to say i don't believe him because honestly somebody with that level of control over their weight clearly knows what they're doing with it like yeah. a standard person cannot gain and lose 250 pounds in two years. Like it's just not no, that's a lot. feasible. Like, like that's like a five year, like a five year goal would be 250 pounds. Like 50 pounds a year would be crazy. Yeah, about a pound a week. Yeah. So that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Like that's, that's insane. So, uh, yeah, he has to either, he either has to have like the worst binging and purging episodes anybody's ever seen. Or he is actually genuinely a, an expert on controlling his uh He's a super genius. his body. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> well it depends on how much I would love money to hear he like made. Oompa's take on this because Oompa spent so much time with him. Yeah. Oh, I'd yeah. love uh I'd love to hear Oompa's theory on if he's actually like smart or this guy just takes so much Ozempic that he could eat a dog and it doesn't really matter. What if it what if it's just AI? What if it's not real? Ooh, yeah. I He's mean, really I, good AI. I mean, technically, if he fed it a ton of videos from before he put on weight, it wouldn't be impossible, I don't think. I don't know enough about AI, but... I don't think I, feel like I mean, you, you watch that, the videos, right? it's like clear as day. Like, it's... Yeah. It's not... It's be pretty hard I haven't hard watched to... him, so I can't actually give my... I haven't watched full yeah, opinion. If you watch the video, watching it's a like... Nick Akato video. Yeah, I think I watched maybe like four minutes of it. He's just talking about his, like... He's like, I'm the villain. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I saw that part on Twitter. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really I don't I don't know what he was what he was getting at there. Nobody thought you were a villain because you were fat as fuck. We all just thought you were stupid and fat. <laughs> now you're, yeah, I, uh, now you're just weird and skinny. <laughs> I tweeted about it and there was a few comments of people saying, Well, it's your turn now. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> Let's record like 200 podcasts now. <laughs> Ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> but what if I'll we come do back the on like episode come, 310. <laughs> we come back and McNasty's in like a horse crane and weighs 300 pounds more. We can do the <laughs> <It's> opposite. <kind laughs> <of worse. laughs> yeah. I come back and I'm just an eyeball on a stick. <laughs> We've all changed in the worst way possible. <laughs> Or or just like a Microsoft logo. I'm, I'm an actual extremist Islamic man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just by yourself on the are. podcast with a long beard. <laughs> In a cave, a threatening cave. people. Mm-hmm. I'm black. Come back as a fat <laughs> Asian woman. <laughs> Dude, why are you black if you said you're going to be the worst version of yourself? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Y'all set me up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Goons racism. Guys, it's been yeah, it's, it's been fifty seven minutes. <laughs> it's barren. It's been fifty seven minutes and my camera hasn't shut off. That's good. Let's go. This is nice. I feel no like it's bug. only gonna be a summer problem when I can't open the window and let some air in here. Yeah. For the camera? Dude, my camera, it gets hot. At fifty seven minutes specifically, it decides I'm good, man. I've worked should, pretty hard. You should today. put like a hot pocket on it one day and see if it'll cook it. The hot pocket or my put camera? A, either one. You should put camera in the microwave. Put a raw egg on that bitch. Yeah. That too. Put an already cooked one on there and see if it cooks further. Dude, imagine how streaky and gross the lens would be. 
Ugh, we're just I'm thinking about it. Wet, wet wavo dripping down it. What else do we do in Canada, dude? I'm I'm trying to remember everything. See, this is a problem. Is I, I'm drunk the whole time, and like <laughs> I always have a ton of fun at these things. But the problem is, it's all like, yeah, you have to be there for it to be fun. Like us walking home from McDonald's hammered was a blast. But there's nothing to talk about. Manny was just naked, and we were drunk, yelling and being stupid. It's mm-hmm. not much to, you know, there's not much to to actually say. Um, we didn't do a ton. Like we were supposed to go bowling. But I think we're all a little too tired and hungover for that. Didn't really. We had like an hour and a half and everyone just wanted to go sit at the apartment or in their hotel rooms, take a nap. Yeah, I don't think we did. We played a lot of basketball. That was fun. Did play a lot of basketball. Ethan tried to kill Dallas with a basketball. Oh, yeah. He hit me in the fucking head, in the face. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> sunglasses. That's sunglasses fell of off and everything. Oh, it's just man. tragic to watch. It was really like, dude, I, I watched it like getting sl- fat. Worst I watched ever. it in like slow mo. Like, uh, soup was I forget. Soup called for a pass, I think, or something from I think it was Puffer. No, Puffer, I did not. I was not even looking. You, I was just uh, no, dribbling no, no, the ball and wasn't looking Ethan. away. No, you. Sorry, never mind. I remember what happened. You threw a ball, and then it was coming back, and Ethan just saw you throw it, and now you had no ball, and he didn't realize your ball was coming back. So you went down to pick up the ball that was rolling back to you, and Ethan just went. And threw it, and it bounced once, and so it came from this way and just hit up oh, on your man. face. That's <laughs> yeah, just, tank shot it. I was just, I was just I got, watching I got next to the face <laughs> bill trick <crammed>. shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, you didn't. You, you, I, you, I was expecting you to just chuck a ball at his head. So oh, I'm gonna get him back. Of, he showed a lot of restraint. You should wait till he's like 85, and he just had a heart attack. He's recovering in bed. He's like, to oh, him Dallas. To death. Dallas, it's so good to see you. You grab a basketball, spike it. You right do like a dude perfect. You drop it off like a thousand feet up and just yeah. boom, right on his face. I go up in a rocket ship and drop it at the perfect angle. <laughs> yeah. You strap a bunch of fireworks to it and launch it into him. <clears throat> yeah. Good time. Yeah, I don't know if anything else happened in Canada. Just good times, hanging out, chilling. A lot of drunk. A lot of, a lot of drinking. A lot of drinking. Largely <laughs> Canadian club. Yeah, I gave him a sip of my 40. Was I think I gave you the 45 year or 44 year? I can't remember which one I gave you. It's like my favorite whiskey ever. It's so it's good. a very old whiskey and it is. Oh, it's so good, bro. That's I love weird, it. I hate, like when I have Canadian whiskey like here, it's like not not very good. Really? Because the opposite is like I shouldn't say the opposite. Cause there's very very good American whiskeys and like bourbons and stuff, but. I I don't know. I feel like maybe people are biased here, but I feel like everyone usually looks at U.S. whiskey as the cheaper option and like less good option here, mm. like more bottom shelf. But I it depends on the brand. It's so hard to like generalize it because there's yeah, so many good whiskeys. Yeah. And then like obviously bourbon is a U.S. thing. Good point, do I didn't think of that. <clears throat> I just want to put my two cents in. You have two Nasty, cents. Do the two. outro. Do the outro. Thank you. Thank you. It's game over time. Goons. East Coast Goons. 10% off. Bedtime. Bedtime. East Coast Goons. 10% off. Download Spotify. Download YouTube. Everyone go to sleep if you're listening. Yeah, if you're listening. Go to sleep. It's like 11 a.m. at work. Go to sleep now. If you're listening to this, fuck you. Just kidding. Close your eyes. Just kidding. If you're driving, close your eyes. Download on Spotify. Download on YouTube. Download on Download on Deezer. Download on what the hell a Deezer? Fuck a Deezer. I don't know. Also, stuff. check out this thing. Yeah, cock. What are you doing? She has a red ass what? chicken. What is that French what toast is... guy? Yeah, who is that guy? I don't know. Why is there a chair? But oh, that's. <laughs> I thought that was part of the picture. I don't know why he's behind me. Oh yeah, we went live in ominous. Canada. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just uploading the whole thing raw. Never mind. Ignore it. Use code goons. Yeah, 10% off. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. In your bed. Go to sleep. (laughs)